हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द फोकस सीरीज आई एम डॉक्टर गोपाल किशन जालवाल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिमोस्ट्रेट द हाउ टू डू द अल्ट्रासाउंड स्कैनिंग फॉर द डीप वेन थ्रोम्बोसिस इन लोअर एक्सट्रीमिटीज डीवीटी इज अ वेरी कॉमन एंड क्रिटिकल कंडीशन अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ द डीवीटी इज पैरामाउंट Uh, to prevent the complication related to it such as uh, pulmonary embolism superior vena cava syndrome or even death ultrasound plays very important role for the diagnosis of the deep vein thrombosis because it is a non invasive bedside investigation and it is a repeatable and with high sens- sensitivity and specificity uh, there are two uh, technique to diagnose the dvt by the ultrasound first one is the two point compression test and second one is the three point compression test so in this video i am going to demonstrate the three point compression technique this is a schematic diagram of the femoral vein femoral vein starts at the level of the adductor hiatus it is a continuation of the popliteal vein and uh, there are two major tributaries of the femoral vein one is the great saphenous vein and another one is the deep femoral vein they join the femoral vein and thereafter the femoral vein known as a common femoral vein and it continue as a external iliac vein into the abdomen for the dvt assessment we do the ultra ultrasound scanning at the three level first at the level of the inguinal crease here and second at the medial aspect of the mid thigh here and third at the level of the popliteal fossa so in this patient we are going to Uh, assess the deep vein thrombosis so first uh, on the deep to uh, diagnose the deep vein thrombosis uh, we have to assess the thrombus on the three sides first in the inguinal crease level and the second over the mid thigh and third in the popliteal crease okay so first i am going to start with the inguinal crease and my marker is on the lateral side uh okay so okay so now here you can see there is a pulsatile structure this is a femoral artery and one more structure uh, at stent to the femoral artery is the femoral vein so to assess the thrombus in to the femoral vein that is the common femoral vein we have to compress the femoral vein and see the anterior and posterior wall of the femoral vein are touching to the each other or not so now i am pressing just here now you can see that anterior and posterior wall of the femoral veins are touching each other so it indicate there is a no thrombus inside the common femoral vein okay now i am uh, moving my probe in a uh, caudal direction around 2 cm below the inguinal crease and you will see a mickey mouse appearance okay now you can see the mickey mouse appearance okay so in the mickey mouse appearance this is a femoral artery this is a profunda femoris femoris artery and this is a femoral vein and here you can see another vein is arising from the common femoral vein that is the great saphenous vein so again we have to compress the vein and to assess either anterior and posterior wall are touching to each other or not so now i am going to compress here you can see the anterior and posterior wall of femoral vein and great saphenous vein is touching 
to each other it means there is a no thrombus inside the femoral vein okay next i am going to scan uh, over the medial aspect of the mid thigh okay now what you will see okay here i am putting a color doppler so that you can see you can see this is a femoral artery and this is a femoral vein just posterior to the femoral artery and again i am going to compress and see here you can see that when i am putting the pressure over the probe femoral vein is compressing and touching the anterior and posterior wall with each other so this indicates that there is a no thrombus inside the femoral vein now i am going to see the popliteal uh, over the popliteal crease and when i i place my probe over the popliteal crease you will see okay so one is a pulsatile structure that is a popliteal artery and another one is a non pulsatile this is a pulsatile this is a non pulsatile so non pulsatile structure is popliteal vein to so test the thrombus you have to press the probe uh, here you can see that popliteal vein is completely compressible that indicates that there is a no thrombus inside the popliteal vein